Okay, so just a quick bus update. So, I've gotten all the remaining bolts off the ground one way or another, either unbolting it or getting it with an angle grinder, which I had to do three with an angle grinder because they're the nuts on the underside, one of them was in a channel, one's directly above the fuel tank, um, another one's like underneath the transmission thing, there's no way in, no way I was going to get my hands under there. Um, so, I had to grind off three of those. Goal today is to take off that heater, and that heater, and oh, I had Bunnings before to get a bunch of stuff to complete everything um, but the stuff that I did get for this are these little doohickeys to cap the tube once I cut it and then I got these come on these little clamp push clamp things so these are designed so when you put on there you push these together and then they do not come off uh, I was going to get ring clamps, but apparently when I was speaking to the guy at Bunnings, he said ring clamps, especially on a place that's going to vibrate a lot, uh, which on the side of a bus will, he said they can loosen, um, and over time you don't want it to eventually pop off if there's any pressure. I'd rather just be safe than sorry, and once it's clamped in there, it's not coming off, and yeah, so once we get that up, also once we get those out, we can then rip up the laminate that's on here, because, I mean, it's filthy. There's marks and staining and all that stuff everywhere from the previous owners. Uh, so we're just going to rip the whole lot up and replace it. We've got um, these floor tiles, which are going to be a surprise what they look like for when we actually do it. So you guys can see that once we do it. Um, but yeah, and I got some structural ply at Bunnings today. So we're going to rip up the entire sub floor because when I was under there yesterday, there's a lot of rotting and water damage for the ply that's already under there. Um, so we're going to replace it with fresh boards. I've also got some tar paint. or oh, It's not really tar paint actually, it's... Oh, bitumen rubber. Um, so I'm going to coat the, the underside of the ply that's going under the bus in bitumen rubber. Um, that's going to give it a waterproof seal. I was going to use marine grade ply for that reason. Um, but I thought if I coat it in bitumen rubber, that's going to do the same thing anyway. Um, so, yeah, we were going to do that today, but when I spoke to the guy at Bunnings, he said it takes four hours to be able to re-coat, and I do need to do two coats, and it takes eight hours to set. So, yeah. So this is going to be my Hi. lovely filmer today, while I unbolt and cut and plug the, the heaters. So... Yeah. So she's going to get down and dirty with me today. We'll see. She's never had her hands dirty yet. Oh. <laughs> you ready? Let's go. Let's go. I'll hand you that. Um, I'm just going to do the bolts first and then we'll cut and plug after that. So you good? Bolts first. Bolts first. So I think four or three bolts per thing. Sure. And then we're going to cut and plug. Hey, okay, me being... I've been spent a fortune today on getting all the stuff I need just to do the flooring. Who knew that renovating a bus would be so expensive? Then again, Katie and I have always said, from the start of this build, do it once, do it right, because once all the stuff's in there, I ain't pulling it back out again. So if we spend a bit of money at the start and do it right the first time, then hopefully that's the only time we'll have to do it. Yay, after hard work, I finally got it out. Did you just wake up from a nap? No. No? There's the smile. Needs to go down for one. There's the smile. And the grotty face. Yeah. Cutie. 
Are you going to yeah. come under the bus with Daddy? <laughs> Are you going to come under the bus with Daddy? Meditation music. One out, one to go. Now we're going to get that one. Ready to get dirty again? So, now it's actually a proper clean slate. We've got the, hang on, let me show you. So we've taken out the floor heaters that were here and here. And now it is a fully clean slate. So now I'm going to rip up all of this lino and yeah. It's like trying to walk through mud. Everything sticks. So I was trying to rip it out, and then I realized there's six bolts here that we're never taken out. So, gotta get those first.
have some lunch. I'll go see Daddy first. It's so sunny today, but super windy. You wanna see what Daddy's done? Let's have a look. Whoa. He's doing an awesome job getting all that yuck stuff out of the ceiling so that we can put new fresh stuff in. Hi. <laughs> Those teeth. Those teeth. <laughs> hey. Hi. You're a bit messy. A little bit. Got the insulation out. Woo woo! 